Now here we have a question where we have parallel lines. Parallel lines bring in two properties, either corresponding angles or alternate angles. <coughs> in this particular case, we've got a 38 degrees mentioned, which means that we have this angle also at 38 degrees because we have alternate angles. Some people like to say it's because we can draw the letter Z around it, but they're alternate angles because they are inside the parallel lines and they're on alternate sides of that line. So they're alternate angles. With that being alternate angles at 38 degrees, we now have enough information to find both of these angles. That is because this dash and this dash implies that the triangle is isosceles. So we have 180 take the 38, which is equal to 142. Therefore, each of those angles is half of that, which is 71 degrees. So we've got the 71, the 71 and the 38 makes up the 180 degrees in that triangle. <laughs> Finally, we can work out the value of x because these two angles must give us 180 degrees. So x is 180, take the 71 degrees, so it's 109 degrees.